Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today we've got some fake meat for lunch. Yeah, we have fake meat. This. And <clears throat> I just thought I had to buy that, considering the name. I hope you can see the name there, but I've lost the rest of it. Hold on, this will take me a couple of seconds to find. My fake bacon isn't here. Oh, there it is. Instead of bacon, I'm going to call it facon. Here is my fake bacon. It's called This Isn't Bacon. Pan Plant-based rashers. So, do one for the screenshot here, you know. This isn't bacon and naked glory. Here we go. Wow. So, plant-based bacon, and what I can only assume are plant-based sausages as well. So let's see how we cook both of these. Let's start with the bacon. How to cook. For best results, pan fry for three to five minutes until crispy, with a teaspoon of oil. And these ones, cooking instructions, nutritional information, cooking instructions on the top. Here we are. Pan fry for eight to ten minutes. So let's put these in the pan first. So this is over to the frying pan. So in an effort not to get anything wrong, I thought probably the best idea was to cook these in separate pans because I don't know, teaspoon, teaspoon-ish, I don't know if there's gonna be any sort of dodgy reaction if you cook them together. And I wanna give them both the best opportunity to be the best sausage or bacon that they can be. Now I'm only gonna cook three of these now. I'll save the other three for another time of the sausages, so let's get that packet open, see what they smell like. No smell at all as yet, which is interesting. Let's get both of those pans on. They don't really smell of anything, which is disturbing to start with because normally sausages you'd be able to smell them immediately come on hmm. oh oh they don't have a casing on them or the oh god they don't have a casing on them you can see that but i, I just brutalized that one trying to take it out to be gentle i was expecting there to be a casing Okay, so they're not really a sausage then, are they? They're just kind of a stick. So I really wish they'd use... I mean, casings can be vegetarian. They don't have to be, you know... There we go. Let's make sure the oil is covering it completely. Let's wait for that to start frying. Let me just seal the other one up and I'm going to put this back. So, Naked Glory Six Sausages. Free, meat-free taste. Hmm, vegetable protein. Sizzling made to satisfy. Oh, it's fantastic. That oil's coming up to temperature, so let's turn that down a bit so it doesn't go over the top. I'm hoping these are going to taste nice. A lot of the time they come out tasting like hot dogs, which isn't such a bad thing, but... I'm starting to get more of a meaty smell from them now, but it's more sort of like the spices you get from the sausage, which kind of is sort of similar to the way you sort of smell meat. Similar to the way you smell meat, obviously. There we go. Right. This one. Takes a little while longer for this pan to heat up. But I didn't want to do the bacon in such a small pan, because that really doesn't give it a fair shout at cooking properly, does it? Turn that one down to four. This pan needs to heat up quite a bit more. 
being that this skillet's a lot bigger, it takes a little bit more. I'm starting to see some smoke rising from that. Let's move the, uh, move the pan around. Hmm. Well, that means it's probably time to start putting this bacon in. So this one also claims to be high in protein with vitamin B12 and iron. And it's supposed to be GMO free. Straight off the bat, they're half the length I thought they were, and the packet is tiny. Look at the size of this box versus the packet. I mean, yeah, you can justify it, but there's a lot of filler on the side of this packet. So, let's cut into this with a knife, open it up. Ooh. This doesn't look like bacon at all. They're these little slabs. There's apparently five of them. So this isn't ten rashers, this is sort of like ten half, ten half rashers. Mm. I'm going to put the rest back in the fridge because it might be overkill to eat the whole lot. This packet, I can sort of fold that over and crimp that with a clamp. Remains to be seen whether I'll be eating the other half of them or putting them in the bin. Right. So these plant-based sausages are cooking a lot slower than they suggested on the packaging, which is pretty much the same for almost all foods these days, that you have to pan fry unless you want to burn it and have it raw in the middle. I mean, nothing cooks in, nothing cooks in one to two minutes or three to four minutes on a... Okay, we're getting some... I don't know how they can claim this looks like bacon. I hope it tastes like bacon. But we're, we're not even anywhere close at the moment. Also, I've got to say that a teaspoonful of oil isn't really working because it's not really coating these. So sort of trying to move them around into the oil and they're not moving at all. So I'm going to put a bit more oil in that one because they're soaking the oil up and it's not really going anywhere. The only reason I'm using the olive oil is I've run out of uh, sunflower. And to be honest, I'm cooking these. At, I'm trying to cook these at a lower temperature anyway, because they're plant-based. They're not meat-based. There's not really much of an advantage to burn. Plant-based materials tend to burn faster. So let's juggle these around and get some oil inside them. I mean, they're starting to go a bit redder and look a bit more like bacon, but I wasn't impressed with the way they started out. Also, they're shrinking quite quickly. Here's the rest going back in the fridge. put it in the box so I don't forget what it is as well. And I'm going to have these in a sandwich. So I've got some of my favourite bread, which is one of my favourite breads, King's Mill 50-50. Wonderful bread. Really enjoy this one. And I like my bacon and sausage sandwiches to be with toasted bread, so they're going to pop down in the toaster and I'll have them with some puri puri sauce or some tomato ketchup. I think I'm going to go for a mixture of the two. Let's have a look. Are these looking any better? No, they're going a reddish colour. I'll give them that. But... I'm not entirely sure how you tell if they're cooked. They're supposed to be crispy, but the idea that they even, they don't look anything like bacon. I can understand what they're going for, but they're just eating up this oil. Can you see that? Amazing. All right, see the sausages are doing the same. 
The sausages, on the other hand, don't appear to be eating up the oil, and I think they've got a fair decent amount of fat in them. Oh no, they are. The trouble is, when you're frying something that eats up the oil, it very easily starts to dry fry and burn. So it's not getting much heat transfer to the inside of it either. So it's going to be a while before these are cooked inside, and this makes me want to cook them in the oven. But that will just dry them out probably. So let's get these two rolled around in the fat again. Don't know how you tell when these are done. I mean, they're supposed to be crispy. Well, I'm going to try a piece of each of these before putting it in the sandwich solo to see how they hold up. And then just try and make sure they're spent some time in the oil. Right, let's have a. Aha, the toast has popped up. Put that back now. Needs one more go. Right down to the main cooking. Okay, still soaking up all the oil. Ending up square as well. See, I'm, I'm not as concerned with plant-based materials about food poisoning as I am with just tasting really bad because it's undercooked. The concern about now is this one isn't getting enough heat. So let's whack that one up a bit. This one I'm concerned about getting too much heat and burning them. I'm going to make sure I flip these again. Yeah, I'm starting to see some bits that be of concern. But this is nothing like bacon. Look at this. It's like... It's just... Everything's off about it. Plant-based bacon. Bacon. Let's let me get the temperature probe. Because these are not like traditional sausages, it's going to be difficult to work out when they're cooked inside. So, let's give them a quick dab. Well, it's near enough 70 degrees inside that one. 79 inside that one, 70 ish inside that one too. So we're close, those are close to being cooked. Put that ready to wash up. I've no doubt they're done. Right, toast is done. Put that on a plate ready to make a sandwich. Turn the sausages one more time. Whoa, now all of a sudden they're burning. There we go, see, from not cooked to burning almost immediately without any in between. That is plant based stuff for you, which is why I was trying to control the temperature so well. So you're off. You're off. So I'm just bringing over the bacon and the meat free sausages. There we are, and let's see what we've got in terms of taste. And give them a quick taste once they're, uh, they're still going for it in those pans. Butter the bread while I wait for them to cool down a second. <laughs> okay, so the sausages smell reasonably like sausages, but the flavour hasn't filled the house. The flavour hasn't, you know, the smell hasn't sort of, you know, infested everything with that lovely smell of cooking sausages. So, the olfactory uh, sensation of cooking sausages is not close. And I have known meat-free sausages to be much better at this. 
So, they're ready to make the sandwiches with. Let's grab one of the sausages and let's, uh, let's try a little portion of it. Here we go. Looking through, we've got some sort of sausage-like texture here. There um, appears to be simulated meat parts in that. Um, the taste isn't bad. It's not meat. It's definitely meat-free sausage. But it's not like terrible. It's uh, it's doable, and I think it's going to make a reasonable sandwich. Going to obviously uh, let's, uh, get this one on there as well. I think it's going to make a reasonable sausage sandwich. So, actually holding up hope for that one. <laughs> Wee, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, I'm probably ruining it with all that spice, but you eat your sandwiches your way, I'll eat mine my way. Right, let's try a piece of this bacon. Plant-based bacon. Okay, it has a texture similar to bacon, straight off the bat. Tastes like a hot dog. So I give it one for tasting kind of similar, but as you can see, it's nothing like bacon. They're like solid little strips. They're not like rashers of bacon. They've somewhat simulated the color and texture. They're severely lacking in the salt department. If they're gonna try and be like bacon, they should have more salt. I think, um, that's something I'm gonna add, just to help them with the flavor a little bit, I think. It's only a tiny amount, <clears throat> but that might actually uh, <clears throat> pick them up a tiny bit. Hmm. Spread the sauce out around a bit. Let's go for it, shall we? Hmm. Let's go for this one first. This is the no bacon bacon sandwich. Tastes more like sausage. It's got a bacon hint to it, which improved with the salt. But I wouldn't really say that was bacon flavoured. I mean, it, it tastes like it tastes like meat, but it's like having a hot dog sandwich. See what this one's more like. This is a no sausage sausage sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. And that I can believe is a sausage sandwich. So, whereas I think the bacon's a disaster. And I will eat the rest of it. The sausages actually do deliver and taste a bit like sausages. So, you're good and you're bad. This has been Bad Food Blog. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And if you watch these videos, please think of subscribing. I'm up to a massive 17% of subscribed watchers now, and I want to get that even higher. And uh, I'm really how welcome to all the new subscribers in the last three months. I picked up over a hundred new subscribers. So thanks very much for joining and uh, bye.